Welcome to Ranking Wuthering Waves Characters by Hotness. Wuthering Waves just came out with the second closed beta test. I'm sure you've been hearing about it. If we're about to start a new game here, we need to see who we're working with, all right? These are mostly going to be based on first impressions. Obviously, it goes without saying these are my personal opinions to each their own. Oh, I'm so excited. Pretty straightforward. S through C tier. I don't think we're going to get any worse than C, really. And we have a child size category for the young characters. First up, we have the male and female rover. These are the main characters you can pick from when you start the game. Oh, they're both beautiful. I love the dark design, sort of monochromatic. Their hair is a sleigh. Giving both of them a long, thin ponytail on the back is an interesting choice. Overall, solid hotness for MCs. I'm pleasantly surprised. That sounded so formal. Yeah, it's giving baby girl. <laughs> There we go. I mean, honestly, I love them both. These these both speak to me. I'm gonna put both of them firmly in the A tier. I think we can get hotter, but they're good. Next up is Yang Yang. She is a cutie patootie. I don't know if I would say hot necessarily, but I don't think she's not hot. You know, we stand a helpful queen. That gets her some points. You know, it's unfortunate, but I feel like a lot of partner characters end up getting detracted in these lists because it's like they're friend shaped. I'm stuck in the friend zone a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm gonna place her in a B tier. Next is Chishia. Also, I apologize if I butcher any of their name pronunciation. You know, I'm not vibing with her as much. Energetic gal personality. Ready for action. <laughs> you know what I mean? She can't get her bangs in her eyes. She's all business. Again, she's firmly friend shaped, in my opinion. In terms of hotness, Chishia, I'm sorry. Somebody's got to go there. I'm going to have to put her in C tier. Ooh, Baiji. She caught my eye very early on. I'm a sucker for the Hime haircut, the sort of stone cold demeanor. I think she's absolutely stunning. She's beautiful. 10 out of 10 would ask her to step on me. I'm gonna have to put Baiji in an S tier. Speaking of which, Sanhua. Why is she doing that with her fingers? The tattoos, the elegance. I think she's so hot. When I watched her Resonator trailer, I was entranced. Look at her eyes. You cannot tell me you would not do exactly what she asked you to do if she looked at you like that. I think she's another S tier. I love her. Danjin. Okay, hear me out. At first glance, she's like the sweet girl, you know, really elegant. But then if you watch her trailer and you get to know her, she's got some stuff lurking under the surface, okay? Wiping blood off her cheek with a smile on her face. Deceitful hotness. Sort of the two different flavors. I think for now I'm gonna place her in a high B, but maybe might go up later. Next is Yeonwoo. Uncle Yeonwoo. <laughs> I love the representation of different age groups here. It's not very often that we see like an older gentleman in these games. Maybe next time they'll add a granny up in here. That being said... Um, he's not my type personally, you know, um, got the fedora thing going on. I'm sorry. I'm not really feeling the milady energy this one's giving off. C tier is still okay. It's middle of the road. Mortify. The V could afford to be a little bit deeper. He's a spicy man. I feel like he would want absolutely nothing to do with me if I ran into him in a bar. Potentially adding hotness points. You know, when someone spits at you, <laughs> he seems cold, but he also seems stuck up to me. I do think I like Mortify better than Yuan Wu, but like, B tier, he's fine. Tao Chi, oh my god. She's got some spice to her. I think she's a little bit generic compared to some of the other ones we've seen. I will say hotness points for the bangs covering a single eye adds a little bit of mystique, you know, a little mystery. I mean, yeah, you can't really go wrong. I think I'm gonna place her like a low A. Alto. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. His attitude is something else. He's sly, he's sassy, gives you a wink and a nod, calls you sweet cheeks. It's the half up half half down hair for me. I like him. I did. <laughs> Is he an S tier though? Uh, uh. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a bunch of S tiers. Am I right, ladies and germs? I'm leaving Alto in the S tier. Ling Yang, I have not confirmed anybody's age. However, they do look relatively child-sized, so I'm going to put them in the bottom row. As well as Little Miss Encore is also child-sized, and Verena as well. I'll cute designs. They're very precious. But you know what's not precious is Big Daddy Calcharo. <laughs> Calcharo. Calchocula. Oh. <laughs> Can't tell if intimidated or attracted. Why not both? He will step on you. He will throw a rock at you. He will push you down the stairs. I love the stern look in his eye with the like skin tight bodysuit. You ask him what he wants for dinner and he just says, hmm, 
I gotta put him up nest here. This feels like a Pokemon evolution to me. Organization 13 member looking at We have a very good distribution of hot guys and hot girls in this game, I will say. How am I gonna decide who I'm gonna main? Because I definitely main people based on how they look and not how they play. Don't judge me. Next, we have Yinlin. Love the red hair. Her hotness 100% comes from her play style and her attack animations. Oh, don't hate me for this, but this is another one where I saw her design and I, it just like kind of left my brain. I guess I'm gonna put her in a low A tier as well. You know, there's nothing wrong with being an A tier. I think the S tiers scream and the A tiers whisper, you know what I mean? Popping in really quick while I'm editing this video. I actually hadn't seen much about her before I recorded it. Now that I've witnessed more of her gameplay, I'm gonna retroactively adjust her to be in the S tier, just saying. Wanted to set the record straight. Okay, back to the video. Next, we have Jiantin. She's also giving cutie patootie the giant bean sprout coming out of the top of her head, dude. I'm not the biggest fan of this one as well. I think I'm gonna have to put her in C tier. I just, I, she's cute, but she does not really speak to me personally. Again, with the sort of like peppy personality type. What does this say about me? I'm over here like, oh yeah, she would step on me. She would hate my guts. S tier. Oh, she's so sweet. She's so nice. Eh. See? <laughs> oh no. I need to talk to someone about that, I think. Anyway. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have Dion or Zion. This is the boy, all right? This is him. He is that girl. I've seen him on a lot of marketing materials and I'm like, hello. You know, that's me like popping my head from around the door frame. Weathering waves, hello. Iconic, beautiful, sublime. It's giving Lancer from the Fate series. He protect, he attack, he looking like a snack. We have found our champion. In my opinion, he is the hottest character as of right now in Wuthering Waves. The final contestant is the top of the S tier. Who would have guessed? Is it the ultra high rise turtleneck or is it the attitude? You know what? I can't really tell, but I like it. Now that the list is complete, it is time to make any final adjustments, move some people around if necessary. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Here, let me, if I'm being honest, I think Sunhua is my top lady. Ooh, I don't know if I prefer all Alto or Calchero. I think I'm gonna leave it there because Alto's toot is just too good. Kind of prefer the male rover. And while I don't necessarily dislike anybody in particular, I think Bean Sprout McGee is the one I vibe with the least. So I'm gonna leave her at the bottom of the C tier, unfortunately. Okay, I think I feel good. And thus, my personal Wuthering Waves hotness list. Let me know in the comments below who your male and female ultimate hotties are. Maybe whose designs you're not vibing with as much. If you guys got into the beta, let me know what you guys think of the game so far as well. I'm really curious. Every time there's like a new gacha game on the scene, I get so excited to make a video like this. I don't know why. <laughs> like, all right, close beta started. Let's get that hotness list rolling, baby. Be sure to check out my channel and subscribe for more nonsense if you're into this type of shenanigans. Perhaps someday I'll make a second run once I've experienced more of it and there's more characters available. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and have a good rest of your day. <laughs> I said that out of order. It threw me off. Bye.